Oh, man. I don't even know where to start from, to be, to be honest, guys. Nigeria lost against Tunisia. 1-0. Oh, God. Man, this is sad. It was really, really painful. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it was really, really, really painful for me. Because the truth of the matter is that, like, let's, let's look at it this way, right? Nigeria played well. If we're going to talk about the overall performance of the players. But before we continue, guys, um, please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe right now and like this video. Thank you very much for, for that. It's your boy, Marquee Vibes, and I'm back again with another one. But today, it's not really a happy day for me. I'm not going to lie to you. Because you know, as guys, right, we have this emotional connection to soccer. I mean, in other countries, they call it football. But we have an emotional connection to soccer. And then when that emotional connection is there and our team loses, it, it, it's really hard to take, man. Trust me, it's really, really hard to take. So I just came here to just let out my frustration about the match because I, 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 I believe or I fully believe that we deserve to at least get to the next stage, man, the quarterfinals. Because we played well. We had chances, we had all that stuff, but we just didn't take our chances. That's the thing. The shot accuracy from the players were just were just terrible. It's just what it just wasn't it just wasn't there. You know? Okay. So they scored at the beginning of the first half, right? Let's talk about that goal. Let's talk about that goal. I know a lot of people because I went on Instagram, you know, not too long ago, and um, I've been seeing a lot of people bash our goalkeeper Okoye for that goal, right? So let's talk about it. Do you know that any keeper in the world, it doesn't matter, like even the best of the best goalkeepers have considered goals like that. You know what I'm saying? So that doesn't necessarily mean that he is a bad goalkeeper. It was just a bad day at the office for him. Let's be honest, though. You know what I'm saying? Because I guess he was just, he was caught unawares. He was caught unaware with that, with that shot. And if you actually analyze that goal very well, that shot was a ferocious shot. Like, it was hot. Like, it was coming with full velocity. It wasn't like just maybe, you know, a scuffed shot or anything like that. It was, it was a really good shot. Let's be honest. We could argue back and forth and say, okay, the goalkeeper could have done better, you know, but also don't let us just bash him alone because the team could have done better in the in the in, in terms of like scoring goals, taking the chances. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people will actually say, Oh yeah, Okoye is Okoye's fault, but the question is you want to ask yourself is how come our strikers didn't score? You know, how come we didn't actually score goals to to cancel that goal that Tunisia scored? How come? So I was watching that game. And I was just like, what's we go? Because I really believed, you know, I had a lot of faith and hope that we would equalize and go out to win the game in the, um, in the extra time. You know, because we didn't really have enough minutes left to to even score the second goal if we had scored the first goal. You know, if, if, if you get what I'm trying to say. Again, I was also going to talk about the, the red card, right? The red card, Alexi Wobi. That was definitely a red card. Put down in the comment section if you think that was a red card. You know what I'm saying? But in my own opinion, in my own opinion, that was a red card. So there's no two ways about one robbed. Because he literally stepped on his ankle. Was that his ankle? Yeah, basically. He stepped on his feet. So it's like, that was a red card. But you know what the funny thing about it is like, we really played well. We we even played better after, you know, Iwobi was, was given that red card. We played well as a team. It didn't seem like we had we had one man down. If you're gonna be honest with yourself, it didn't seem like it. I think they, they scored like in the 46. Is it 46 minutes or 47 minutes, something like that? It was a shocking goal, but 
it happens in soccer we should have taken control and scored with the chances that we had we should have done that man like man like y'all don't even understand how painful it was man like because i was really rooting for nigeria i really wanted us to win the african cup of nations for this year i really the african cup of nations 2021 i really wanted nigeria to live do you know what it would it would it would it would do for nigerians do you know what it would do for nigerians both nigerians in nigeria and nigerians in diaspora do you know what that would actually do it will boost up what, what will i say our confidence a lot of people will even respect us more i know people respect us already but we even get more respect now let's talk about buari is um having a zoom call with the players before the game a lot of people have been coming for buari too you know what i'm saying but <laughs> Do you think the president, right, should have had a Zoom call with them before the game? Or they should have just let them keep playing up until, you know, the final. If we are going to the final and won it, and then you cannot congratulate them. Or what do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Because a lot of people have been coming for Buari, you know, our president, Muhammad Buari, saying, oh, yeah, he's bringing bad luck or he brought bad luck to the team. If we had not had that call with them, they would have probably won the game. Do you guys agree? Do you agree? Man, like, you don't know. I almost cried, man. It's like, but I just have to, you know, just sometimes just have to take a loss like a man. Like, I really cry. I No, not cry, but I almost cry, to be honest with you. I almost cry. So, um, yeah. And then, what else was I going to talk about again? I was going to talk about um, uh, the chance. Yeah, there was a chance that Sadiq Umar had in the second half, right? Because the coach, Iguavon, brought him in in the second half, right? He had a chance that I felt like he should have done better. He should have done better with that chance. That that shot was more like a scuffed shot for me. Like, he he didn't really get it right, if if that makes sense. He didn't really play that ball, the ball well. He should have done a lot more better with that shot. And then there was also like a a, a chance that Simon had, Simon, um, Moses Simon had, where the the Tunisian goalkeeper blocked that shot. Man, I was thinking, I was I was thinking that ball was going to end up in the back of the net. I'm not going to lie to you. I was thinking it was going to end up in the back of the net. You guys should don't mind me ranting, but it's just a sad day. The Super Eagles of Nigeria out of the tournament with one of the first games of the round of 16. Not the first game, but I think the second game. You know, it's it's, it's just it's just it's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. Like that that you just brought down my morale. It brought it brought down my you know like my mood for the day was just was just bad, man. If they win, I'm just da, 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 and then you're like, you know, I even said it yesterday. Okay, we might win three zero. You know, this person was called, that person was called, this person was called, but it just didn't end up that way. It just didn't go our way, you know. And I don't know if you guys remember in, in that video also that I made yesterday. I said Tunisia might cause an upset. I said it. You know what I'm saying? But I was really confident. Apart from the fact that I said that, I was really confident that we would, we would get a win, man. Because of the the first three matches, the first three matches were perfect. We were the only team. We were the only team in the group stage that won all our games. We had nine points. So after three matches, I get in nine points. Even Ghana, they had one point. Ghana, they got one point from the you know they couldn't qualify to round the sixteen. But we had nine points. And then we just let you we just I mean what's not the point now? We we came out of the group stage, but now we, we're out of the competition. Now we're out of the competition. It's painful, man. Who do me gone? Who do me gone? It's really, really painful. Oh god. So I want you guys to put in the comment section what you think the future of the Super Eagles, you know, is looking like, man. 
what do you, what's next for the Super Eagles of Nigeria? I'm not gonna lie. Like I feel like they should they should keep Iguabon. You know, I feel like they should keep Iguabon. I don't think we need any other coach now apart from Iguabon, so he can develop the team even better that way. Like you know, I mean, losses happen. We're gonna take it like like man, but I feel like they should keep Iguabon. What do you think? Because he really he really did well, man. Considering the short time short period of time that he had in in like you know bringing everyone together, setting up a team and you know taking them out there to cameroon to play for them to actually play exceptionally well he, he, he did a good job big ups to iguavan let's be honest back to okoye again i felt like he should have done a little bit better don't get me wrong but any goalkeeper can consider type of goal that's just the truth so it was just a bad day at the office for him I hope it, you know, is I hope the team is feeling better now. You know, even though I know it's gonna be hard for them, but all I can just tell them is that I wish them good luck and um, they should just come back stronger and better, man. But thank you guys for watching this video. I really just want to come here and just speak my mind about the game. You know, I'm a little sad, but we would we will get back stronger. Trust me, we will definitely get back stronger. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button right now. Please subscribe right now. Also, click on the like button. Let this video go viral. And um, also, comment. Let me know what your thoughts about the game are or were. And share this video. Thank you for the continued love and support. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.